Now, the American diet is 75 to 80% ultra processed. Think about that, okay? 75 to 80% of what we eat has been created in a factory somewhere in package. It's a little bit scary if you think about it. So let's try to get that down to 70%, then let's try to get that down to 65% and 60 and so on and so forth. Just cut out the non-natural foods one by one and I guarantee you will feel better. High heat processing, which is how a lot of ultra processed foods are created, advances or increases the amount of advanced glycation end products. Anytime you brown meat, roast meat, grill meat, fry meat, you are creating heavy loads of advanced glycation end products. Um, we can talk about ways to avoid it, but low heat, moist heat, stewing, poaching, those are better ways to cook or marinating in an acidic environment before you cook helps to reduce the dietary ages. Um, but those, those are what's really, that's what's really destroying you. And then the problem with ultra processed foods is they're energy dense. So, you know, an apple might have, I don't know, 50 to 80 calories, right? You get that with one bite of a candy bar, a small bite. So it's just too much, too much energy and too little of a package. It's ridiculous. And then there's still trans fats. Do you know what took the FDA until 2018 to say that trans fats were illegal? Okay. Um, but they also said Oxycontin was a good idea and Opana 3. So, and they also think um, high fructose corn syrup was a good idea. So, you know, just because the government says some foods are okay and they don't, you know, kill you if you eat a cartload of them, you may want to think about the Mediterranean diet and be a little bit skeptical about that. There are still trans fats present in food because as long as they can say that it's less than 0.1%, they're allowed to say no trans fats per the regulatory environment we live in right now.